Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review. And today I'm going to be reviewing Molecules by Dave Loosley. Before we do this, can you please like this video? Can you please subscribe to my channel and play, press that I can't say, it didn't come out right, did it? And can you please press the little bell icon so you know when I go live, or more importantly, sometimes when I can't, so you don't turn up. Uh, but uh, do that and check out carbmagiccourse.com. Go and have a look at it. But actually, what I want you to do more uh, than that is sign up for it, because it's brilliant. Everybody loves it. Nobody has a bad word to say about it. And even very famous magicians have got very nice things to say about it. If you go and have a look on the uh, site, you will see the testimonials. So if you love this or you like this, you will love that. If you love this, you'll love that even more, probably. But there you go. Uh, do that. This is it's an interesting one. This is, um, I think Dave Loosley do a lot of stuff with Alakazam and he's uh, releasing his own stuff. Uh, and he's got a, a new project, I think, releasing some more stuff in the near future, which I'm looking forward to seeing this. Um, seen that and this is well it's a kind of it's a kind of coin trick that isn't a coin trick so it started off life as a trick with a ball bearing so it was a coin turning into a ball bearing like one of those big um, steel balls which is always lovely looks great uh, and then back again and that's on the on the beginning when he's talking about where this came from but he said he didn't want to send out just a ball bearing and a coin because he, he he kind of thought you could do something a little bit different with this and of course people have seen a lot of coin magic so he's got this routine which kind of blends coins with, with with this and you've basically got this thing where you you can start off with a, a coin and a black disc and he says it looks like a black bit of plastic that's what it is but it's a, it's a portal and I love we all like a portal trick don't we and he puts the coin and the uh, portal in the hand and then the coins vanish it's gone into the portal then he throws it out of the portal which is a great moment it looks really really cool and then uh, he does, a, does some magic with the, with the portal itself, and then that turns into an eight ball. So it goes from there. Because I know it's a black, black bit of um, plastic, but now it's an eight ball. But of course, it's a, it's a bit thin, isn't it? You can't do much with that. And then turns that into another eight ball. And the other eight ball he turns it into is just this cute little... And it has got some weight to it. You know, it's a proper little eight ball. Uh, and it does some stuff like that, and then you flatten that down in this lovely moment where you flatten it and you've got it back into here, and then you can put that back in your wallet or do whatever with it. So I like these sort of routines. I've always loved that kind of, um, that anything where you, well, I love coin magic, and it's kind of coin magic, but anything where you've got like a, that, you're bringing something completely unexpected into it. So, you know, when you, when you see, and there's been a lot of eight ball tricks, you know, the big ones, and that's actually what he said. He kind of, he, he loves those things, but you've got to carry a big eight ball. So he wanted to, do like a close-up version that that didn't take pocket space um, but saying that he does mention at the end which i think would be great actually you, you turn that into you know you turn that into the a, a big eight ball so you've got this three stage thing and even with the core the, with the coin arguably it's a four stage thing so so there's quite a lot you can do with with that and i think it's a it's it's my sort of routine it reminded me you know i love routines that are slight of hand routines but not really knuckle busting he talks through the vanish he uses which is a very good one this clip steel which i wouldn't say is for super 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 beginners but it's something that most people will be able to learn but this is i would say it's a I'm tempted to say beginner beginner slight of hand trick so if you're learning a bit of slight of hand i think that you could do this quite easily the thing that's, if you are a beginner, that's going to be daunting for you are things like steals. You know, when you bring the, whatever you have to bring into play. And actually, you know, someone that's done them a long time with things like the cups and balls and remembering being daunted by that thing of, oh no, I've got to grab that. The, the, there's so much misdirection built into this routine. You know, when, when, when the portal goes from there and jumps out there, You've got a lot of time to do what you've got to do. So I would say, you know, he does it sitting, but you can do it. You will be able to find ways of doing it. I think sitting is probably going to be the easier way, to be honest. But I wouldn't have any problem doing this standing. I think it's a really honest trick. It's an honest... And when I say that, it's a proper magic in it. You know what I mean? There's no kind of... Dip. And with that, um, it's kind of been produced very honestly. and 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 it's... And that's, that sounds like I'm damning with faint fate praise when I say this. And I have said this today. When you get this, if you're one of those people that, that likes their kind of really nicely packaged thing, it's a pretty rustic thing. You'll get in a plastic bag with a sticker on it with a 
black bit of plastic, but that's what it's meant to be. That's what you say it is in the, in the routine. You go, it's a black bit of plastic, uh, and you get the ball, which is fine. You don't need anything else, but for those of you who like your plush things, you know, this it would be quite nice to give people a choice, which you might do at one point. If they want to pay extra, they get a nice thing. Um, but I really want, you know, once you've got it out of the bag, you're not going to need the bag anyway, so it's gone, and you, you're just working with these. They're in your pockets. Um, you know, there could be the eight ball is a sticker, on it. He does that, by the way. You get two two eight balls in case you don't want to do the kind of the the change. Um, if you just if you want to use both sides as an eight ball, you can. And there is this other routine. These other routines on it. There's a kind of out to lunch routine, where you show um, some business cards, which again is really. I've, I looked at it and thought, nah, it's a little bit. But actually, it's pretty cool. It's you show some business cards um, that that have snooker balls on them and it comes off the card uh, and then it hasn't got the snooker ball on it for the next one they see is is kind of that that i've just dis destroyed that by trying to explain it. i'm terrible at explaining tricks aren't i it's really bad for a reviewer it's quite nice it's fine i prefer the other stuff all the the main routine i think is absolutely fine but if you wanted to play with that you could it's not it doesn't feel like filler it feels like it's decent and it will get a, and you can do a really nice quick routine with that as well i love the idea and he's got this in it this in, in blowing it up this inflatable thing which which i think is great it really makes sense but again i like the idea of then going to the next step and blowing it up into that which again you don't have to do uh, but the brilliant thing is then you just sort of blow you squash that with the great bit in it where you just sort of slam your hand down and it squashes down into that and then that goes back in your wallet and i just think that's a lovely cyclical thing it comes out your wallet you do this whole thing with it, it goes back in your wallet you pop it in there i think it's a nice thing to do if you kind of you know, if you did it and then just didn't say much about it, just got it out, did the whole thing, you know, sitting around a, around a table, I think it's cool. So uh, I think it's a really cute little trick, a really lovely trick, and, uh, and I like the idea of carrying it around and, and trying it out. And I think it will always, it, that sort of stuff always goes down well with lay people because they know it's sleight of hand, it's got that lovely kind of classic feel to it. Um, but I do like the idea of the ball bearing one as well, and I might get one of them. So, uh, But there it is. Um, if you want to find out more and i think dave's coming out with some more stuff he's released this independently so it's always good to support people that are doing stuff independently of course support everybody but you know um people that do that need need it a bit more so click the links below check out his stuff please like subscribe check out card magic course have a good one stay safe and uh be happy